to let him go with a snap rocket. Hell yeah. Good idea. You got more to that Chronicles? Oh yeah, let me read. I hate it. And he made in Jerusalem engines fitted by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones with it. Ooh, so he had them giant, he had them, uh, uh, what they call siege warfare. They, they, these, y'all watch them old movies, they got them giant towers and they shoot these gigantic bows and they launching flaming rocks at your ass. Trees, they yeah, tree be a bow. That's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's mind boggling in itself, man. Yeah, I guarantee you they probably had automatic arrow launchers. Yeah, like, doo, 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 doo. like the one in that one month movie, uh, Sam oh. Bricks. Dude going around hunting vampires and the dude that oh, oh, Van Halen. Van Halen. Something like that, yeah. Hell yeah. They had a, that automatic one in that movie. Oh, even too, Jake during the Dark Ages in Constantinople, that, uh, they had something called Greek fire. They, 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 during naval warfare, they spray your ass with that Greek fire. It will catch the ocean on fire. They couldn't put it out. Yeah, actually, they did that to the ocean. Yep. Yeah. During the time of war, they soaked the ocean with something. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a mystery. They don't know what. It, they was the only ones. That, it was probably just petroleum. Who knows? Gasoline. Yeah. That tells you they had gasoline and stuff before, you know. Can you imagine that though, man? Being in war, you see a tree coming at your ass. A tree. <laughs> What you gonna do but pray, man? And they would launch the heads of your uh, your your uh, fellow countrymen at your ass. Right, right, right. They launching heads at you. To shoot arrows and great stones with them, and his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelous help till he was strong. Till he till he was strong. It's a bad That's it. So, so the, the people don't understand the kingdom of Israel used to be like one of the mightiest kingdoms in the world. That's why he has something called the Book of Kings. Those are the book of the records of those great Israelite kings. They were some of the baddest warriors the earth has ever seen. But you never hear nobody talk about the, the kings. Of, you never hear no one talk about the kings of Israel. You know. I got a preset. What you, you got? You know, right. You're right, though. Because they, they erased it out the world, though. Jake think they just rappers. This because the know? Bible's like, this is like real life Lord of the Rings, like uh, some amazing shit, you know. This is crazy. I got a scripture real quick, unless y'all got something. That's what you need to do, man. Just erase. Just, just imagine if Jake did was raised from birth to birth to, to now, man. Seeing that. This history on this moment, how we were kings and great men and mighty men. Not just that, we were just we were mighty men. Right, because you take me on sh the shit right now. Like uh, you hear, uh, everybody always talk about the Edomite kings, the great Edomite kings. Like everybody gives praise to Julius Caesar and Alexander, but you don't never hear nobody talk about King David or Je uh, King Jehoshaphat. You know? They don't care. Either. Yeah, they don't care. You ain't talking about Jay Z or. I got a quick precept. Let's go with what you got. Uh, this is Daniel 1 and 3. This is going into... Uh, this is going into when, the, when Israel was led into captivity in Babylon. Daniel 1 and 3. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and the king's seed and of the princes, children in who was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding science. And such had ability of them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans. But they say, yeah, because that would they became an asset to the Babylonians. They took why did they take all them children? They didn't take the whole nation into captivity all the way to Babylon. Because they left a lot of people back in Jerusalem. But with all the people they took to the Babylon, like I said, they, they were cunning in all knowledge and sciences. And the Babylon used all them Israelites to, to keep their power. What science do you get? Knowledge. It's a Latin word, it means knowledge. But yeah, like they even made Daniel the president. Ain't that funny though? Like you read the book of uh 
Genesis. They tell you how Joseph went to Egypt. And he ended up becoming pretty much the Pharaoh. Then Daniel go to Babylon. It's like history repeat itself. He, he become the president, huh? Oh, yeah, Mordecai too. Uh, with the Persians, yep. Yeah. Yep, Moses too. The Israel boy, he goes to somewhere. We, 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 we get all the way up in the top. Cause you can't you can't ignore Israel. America. Yeah, America too. Yeah, look. Oh, they gonna say Barack Obama. <laughs> now there was some Israelites teaching Barack Obama was an uh, Israelite. Wasn't that some dude in Chicago or something? I can't remember who said it. Somebody was teaching that Barack Obama was an Israelite. Who was teaching that? I don't. I can't remember. It was. Ooh. Oh. It ain't going. Yeah, that's that's way off. He, uh, he, he was actually. He made a motherfucking joke about the. Uh, oh shit. The, uh, the sermon on the mount. Oh, he sure did, didn't he? Yeah. So he had his fucking mind, man. Most probably gonna destroy that. Oh, what's about your boy Ben Carson though? He he got what is it? He, they got he's the wackest job ever. He's like the head of uh, public housing or some crazy shit. Yeah, what kind of job title is that? What does he even do? I can't even turn the page. Oh yeah. Keep going nice. Man, she was gone off that bus. <laughs> Oh, what's she was on that shit. She got, got that voodoo post. The worship of Jacob is not like the way the former of all things. Israel is the right of his heritage, and how will host is his name? Just like the, the, the Edom Esau does, man. He still, he still the patterns of all these inventions. You say he invented that shit. Like Albert Einstein, you got proof. We can prove it. Albert Einstein worked in a patent office. So what do you think he got all his ideas? <laughs> yeah, it's still in everything. <laughs> Biting people's moves. <laughs> oh, hell. Hey, you know, you know, a lot of people don't know. Because people like to talk shit and say, oh, so black people, they don't, they're just retard, retard. Hey, you know, uh, a black man invented uh, video game cartridges? Did you know that? No. Did he work, the fair, you ever hear, remember the Fairchild video game system? It, it was the first cartridge-based system. Then what was your boy's name? I, just, I made a video on it. Hold on, it's escaping me. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry something. Jerry. Damn it, I can't remember. Go look it up. Jerry Lawson. Yeah, yeah. He invented video game cartridges. So if it wasn't for him inventing them cartridges, you had no Atari, no Nintendo. The world would be a horrible place. <laughs> Video days, come, video days come from a lot of them. They do, bro. That was my escape. <laughs> that used to be my truth. Kill the, kill the bro, I, I, I live inside of Final Fantasy, you know? <laughs> I've been playing that shit all day. Zelda. Yeah, Zelda too. Psalms 137 and 3. But there they, like, but there they that carried us away captive required us for the song. All required of us a song. That's what they do today. That's why, that's how you, another way you can tell who the real Israelites are. What's the biggest book in the Bible is the book of songs. Because the Israelites just sing them songs and them hymns to the Most High. So who, who's the top musicians today? You can look, go down the line. Jimi Hendrix, best guitar player. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Tupac, best rapper ever. It, even in them white boys and country artists. Hank, that's an Israelite. Uh, uh, Johnny Cash is a J. Uh, who? Oh yeah, Kendrick Lamar is a life. Well, Elv yeah, Elvis Presley. Huh? Oh, Bruno Mars. I ain't, I ain't fucking with Bruno. I ain't never. He loaned me think? Yeah. But he looked like he got Elon. I ain't never fuck with no Bruno. He came on the Super Bowl and I left. I went somewhere else. What was it? Man, all, all these musicians are all Jakes. If they if they making hits and they making moves, that's, that's a Jake. Ain't no. Could you imagine an Edomite song? What would that even sound like? Esau ain't got no rhythms. 
Yeah. I, real screens. Oh, hell, 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 real screen. <laughs> hey, the Eagles was Jake. Yeah. No, nah, Eagles was Jake. Them boys had some. Man, the Eagles got some bad <laughs> shit. That's some bad shit right there. That, that, that even though they some damn devil worshippers. But that's Israel though. Israel, Israel backsliding. He's impudent. He's uh, a. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where you from, man? Goodbye, Uncle Tom. Zambia. Z say it again. Zambia. Zambia. In Africa? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, 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 that's different. Yeah. So what you guys praise in Israel? We're we're Israelites. Oh, he knew that. He knew that. We are Israelites. Okay. But the, but the, uh, those Jews in Israel, to, in the land of Israel, in the Middle East, they're not the real Jews. You ever hear anybody say that? Oh yeah. Them rats. That's a rat. They need to be exterminated. They're going into slavery first, though. Yeah, a thousand years. Yeah, All right. Hey, Africans God too. bless you guys. <laughs> he did. He, was, he said zombie. I thought. That's right. South. Is that South Africa? That's shit. That's isn't it? It's by also on the East Coast. It tells you. There's so many countries in Africa, I can't keep track of them all, to be um, honest. Yeah, uh, up by Libya. Yeah. I had to look it up, to be honest right, with I you. I could be wrong, but I think it's up by Libya. Hold on, man. I don't want to look at that man. That's the thing about Africa. They call uh, so-called black people African-Americans. That's a whole continent. With like, It got like 100 nations in there. That's a lot of different nations, a lot of different people. You know, Africa's bigger than Europe. Europe will only take up the... Like the little tiny top of Africa, you you can fit Europe on the top of Africa. That's how big Africa is. You know what I mean? So people they just throw that name of African African American. What does that mean? That don't even mean nothing. Paul was up in Africa. Yep. Did you just read the scriptures? You see, Jake was all up in there. Yep. The fuck was Babylon? <laughs> the continent of Africa. Babylon. Ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon. So before we before we started up in there, we said we were already there anyway. We just went amongst our brethren up in that motherfucker. Yeah, you had Israelites living in Carthage, which is a, in Libya, modern day Libya. They, they said back in the, there's like a million Israelites living in Carthage. Before the time of uh, so called Christ. I hate using that word. Yeah, but before the time of the Lord, Israel, they, they, all through Africa. Uh, what you got? This is, uh, going back to uh, Psalms 137 and 3. It says, in the middle of the verse, it says, they wasted us, required, they that wasted us required us of mirth, saying, sing us one of the stones of Zion. In slavery, singing, uh, Kumbaya means uh if you really look it up it'll be calm it'll be uh stand up in the name of the Lord stand up in Yah it could it could mean that Kwam Ba Yah Kwam means stand or to arise Ba means in and Yah means most high Kumbaya stand in Yah Says, how shall we sing it? How a song in a strange land? If I forget the old Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. And that going back to how we just, you know, cunning means like he's skilled and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like King David, he was skilled in uh, uh, war, skilled in playing a harp, skilled in you know, everything. Yeah. We uh, we like uh, what's that word? We're polymaths. Now, like you and the truth, you're a polymath. Poly meaning many, and math meaning truth. The man of many truths. Cause when you get in this truth, man, you've been learning all kind of stuff. Some brothers, you know, like we like science. We like scientists out here. Some brothers got some so many talents, they blow your top off. It says, if I, it's like, if I do not remember thee, let my tongue uh, cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not to lose them above my cheap joy. See, that's, that's going back to you lost most of you and your talents. Good at music, you good at this, you good at that. You're supposed to give praise to Most High. He said, Ooh. if I forget how, to, if I forget, I Jerusalem, bless my joy, my chief joy, then let me, let me be an idiot, pretty much. 
<laughs> Let me just be a, uh, I can't think of the word, like a non-skilled motherfucker. Yeah, an, it, an idiot. Dumbass. An idiote. These motherfuckers, some of them got talent, but they use them talent for all kind of wicked things, man. Ah, that's that scripture. Colossians. I got scripture. We gotta read the rest of that though. We gotta read the whole chat. I got my, I got a precept though. I uh <laughs> I have Colossians 3 and 15. And let the peace of the most high rule in your hearts, to which also which ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Oh, that's Israel, they ain't thankful for nothing. Let <laughs> let the word of Yahweh Shai dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Going back to what you was talking about. And it is, this is the scripture. You just said this. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. So everything you do, like if you got... Like, and the Most High gave you mu musical talents. When you make your little songs or whatever, you're supposed to be praising the Most High with that music. You know what I mean? He gave you that talent, so you're supposed to use it for what you, it was made for. Yeah, like, 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 like you know, people that be just singing nothing about, nothing but just about women and shit, like, yeah. sing songs, that nigga. The love songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, single, every single song about a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, because like, that's, that's the thing. They, that's uh, these people, these people worship women and shit. Uh, material, you know, material thing, money and drugs. They shit. buy everything. They supposed to get praised and singing to uh, like the book of songs. You don't see the book of songs talking about, uh, you know, committing adultery and uh, you know what I mean, uh, broken small, broken guns and shit. You talking about the Lord? You're getting praised to how much you're shot. That does not mean to go make a uh, to go make a double CD mixtape <laughs> rapping about uh, <laughs> Yasharala. Bomb y'all, so Rala. Yeah, don't we put that on your channel, man? Cause you know, you know what happens a lot of times. Jake, they find out he an Israelite or whatever, and then they'll make some rap music or. I, mean, I made some songs or songs too, though. But I, I see a lot of Jakes, man. They be making some music and they'll try to mix the truth in with the music, and it just comes out corny, and it ends up sounding corny, untimely. What's another word? Yeah, I'm professional. <laughs> like, like, like scripture says, don't give what is holy to a dog and shit like that. Yeah. Like when you sing, you put, if, you, if you have, if you sing a rap, you can sing amongst brothers because you know that it's a spiritual song. You just, you know, spiritual song, you spiritual people. You, uh, what's called musical people. So yeah. you might get lifted up by a song. You yep. Know, you put it on YouTube and, and then the wrong people will get it. They gonna, yeah, the wrong people get it. I mean, if you're going to have a music channel, have a separate channel from your teaching channel. Don't put it on your teaching channel. Because in the back of your mind, you still think, oh, man, I'm going to get some hits off this one. You know, that's just the flesh talking. Because the flesh, the flesh still weak. is weak. And your flesh, in the back of your mind, think, oh, I'm going to get a YouTube partnership. I'm a, you know what I mean? If you can get a YouTube partnership, do it on a different channel. Don't do it on your teaching channel. You can't be putting commercials on the teaching videos. I noticed that there's a lot of Israelite groups out there. They put, they monetize their videos, and y'all ain't making no money off them videos with your little 2,000 views. I think you gotta get like a million views just to get a thousand dollars or something like that. Nah, I think uh, I think it'd be like five thousand views. Nah, five thousand, five thousand ain't getting you nothing. I think it's a starter kit. It's like you gotta reach. Oh, no, no, no. Well, to get the partnership, now they changed the rules. You got to have at least 2,000 subscribers. Uh, or something like, maybe 1,000 subscribers. I can't remember. Well, I'm talking about how much money you make off the views. You got to have a lot of views to make any money. In most Israelite videos, you ain't making, ain't nobody watching your videos, man. I mean, even if you get thousands of views on, like, on a couple videos, then you ain't going to make no money off that. So stop monetizing your channel. Stop trying to profit off the truth. There's a lot of people, they just want to profit off the truth. 
like IUIC selling Israelite shirts, Israelite merchandise, you know what I mean? Selling DVDs. The truth is to be told, not to be sold. Pass, they really got Passover shirts? It says happy Passover. Man, well, we need to go. Man, we got to pray to you. How about show me how shot? They just get destroyed immediately. It, 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 they, they, nah, was selling, they, they were selling shit at the Passover. The last Passover they had. Hey. How you going to sell at, at the Passover? Yeah. Where in the scriptures that say they was in the wilderness and somebody had a, a, a merch table set up? <laughs> what is it? What is it? That's bad. That's they teaching for filthy lucre's sake, man. That's some bullshit. Y'all doing the same thing these churches do. That's the same thing T.D. Jakes does. Oh, remember yeah. T.D. Jakes got a video where he said, oh, yeah, the, what he said, the Bible is a good business and business is good or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, that's crazy. He said it was just a business to him, and then he said business is good. Yeah, yeah. Well, just yeah, he told me he was getting into church to make that money. That's some bullshit, man. He told me, face to my face, he told me that. Well, when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to have to just put them to death. We're going to have to kill them. Uh, I was watching Black Lightning. That's what a uh, dude, the cop told the dude. He was like, man, you're a good speaker. You need to open up a church. <laughs> he's, like, you'll make, he's like, you'll make plenty of money what you're doing now. Oh, I got to change my battery. Oh, man, you wicked ass niggas, man. Jesus. Jacob, do anything for that dollar. <laughs> Yeah. Even if it means uh, sucking some dick. <laughs>